Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Goddamn, Akko, you look bored as hell. Um, welcome back to more Little Witch Academia, Chamber of Time. Chamber of Time? That's what it's called, right? I can't really remember. Anyways, where we last left off, uh, we came back to the, whatever the hell this place is, uh, the, well, we're going to head to the Hololobium Chamber to, uh, check out what the fuck's been going on with our weird-ass time loop. Well, before they even know it's a time loop. But spoilers, it's a fucking time loop. Um, last episode, uh, we talked about anime and shit. And this episode, we're gonna talk about anime and shit, because the fuck, why not? Anyways, uh, let's talk to... Actually, I think we're done talking to Malte. I think we just need to go and check out the, uh, this place. Actually, the Grand Clock. Hey, Susie, what's up? How you doing? Maybe this all started because you broke the clock. I mean, fuck you. Of course it wasn't me. I didn't do it. I just looked at it. And with my mind powers, I broke it. Man, but, uh, let's continue our, our nerdy anime talk. Because that's the type of person I am. Um, what the hell is wrong with the background? You guys see that? Like, on the left side of the background, how the pillars kind of, like, cut off? It looks weird. Especially like that top pillar. It doesn't even look like it's supposed to be that way. And my dog is waking up and shaking his floppy ass ears and making a bunch of noise. Are you okay over there? You good? He's like repositioning himself so he can like lay down better I guess. Because he likes to sneak under my covers and just, you know, snuggle up himself. But he's pretty fucking loud when he does it. Uh, what are we even fucking supposed to do? Where, isn't there supposed to be like a thing that tells me to talk a lot? Okay, cool. What's up, girl? Alright, anyways. Uh, this episode, what kind of anime are we gonna talk about? Let's see. I think what I want to talk about is like, old anime and, well, I'm, me. I'm a fucking, I quote unquote old anime, because they're not really that old. Uh, that and probably like, uh, what do I gotta do now? Okay, I don't, I don't know. Do I go back to the grand clock? I guess not. Do I leave? Do, what, what did you tell me to do? I don't think closest dungeons usually mix closets. In the, okay. Hmm. Are we gonna head this way? No. Watch out, send off some strange place again. What could this have been used for? Oh, I can't go that way, it's a sealed door. Uh, I can't move. Okay. Cool. Just wanted to make sure that I'm not doing anything, anything uh, wrong. Oh, hey, Amanda and Constance and uh, Jasminka showed up. Yeah, but what I want to talk about is like older anime and, um, like cartoons I watched growing up basically that were inspired by anime but man where do I begin uh well I guess we can begin with like Ghost in the Shell even though I really don't have much to say about it but besides the fact that I think it's like the only anime adaptation that did good in the fucking movies when it came to live action right and because there's like a bunch of live action anime. Actually, that's that's wrong. I guess uh, Jojo Part 4 did pretty good as well. Uh, Diamond is Unbreakable. Uh, but that didn't... I think that was only like a Japanese-only movie. I don't think they ever translated that or anything like that. Um, what the hell are these guys doing? I really don't know what they're doing right now. Oh, God. Diana's here. Alright. What's up? Diana here to fucking chew me out again for some bullshit that I didn't do. Everybody just hates my guts. <laughs> yeah, but um, Ghost in a Shell. I mean, it's one of those uh, it's one of those shows that I really didn't, I really didn't like watch all that much. I tried to watch it at some point, but it it was like. To me, I, I would try to watch it when I was younger, so my fucking attention span, and I didn't appreciate stories as much as I do now. But to me, um, it was really, uh... 
someone was making like a bunch of noise. You know, besides me, I'm making a lot of fucking noise too, because I talk loudly. I think somebody was eavesdropping on my recordings. Um, yeah, but to me, Ghost in the Shell fucking... I tried to watch it when I was younger, and they just, uh, they talked so much about things I didn't understand, and I got so bored. It was like, it was like how Dragon Ball, like, when they get into fights, they're like, time for me to talk for fucking three episodes while I charge up my power and tell you how I'm gonna kick your ass. But Ghost in the Shell wasn't like that at all. It was just like, they just kept fucking talking and talking and talking about all this ton of scientific shit that I didn't, I didn't even know what the fuck they were talking about back then because I was so goddamn young when I even tried to watch it. And I still haven't even watched a live adaptation of the goddamn movie. Um, but at some point I probably go, I will go back and watch it because now I'm hearing pretty interesting things about the story in general and about how it dives into what it means to kind of be human versus like machine and stuff like that so you know it gets into like some pretty politically heavy topics and even like uh like uh topics dealing with society and stuff like that so it's a pretty interesting concept i guess what am i supposed to do now i guess i'll see what the others think cool all right akko uh but i guess it's like an anime that i can dive into again and try and watch it like, uh, the older visuals don't really bother me when it comes down to anime at all, really. To be honest, uh, I recently went back and started watching, uh, like, along with Pokemon, uh, the old stuff, like the Indigo League. I also went back and started watching, uh, Inuyasha and fucking, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Because, first of all, I grew up with those two. Those probably introduced me to anime like a motherfucker. Um... What do you got to say to me, Diana? I'm still not sure entirely that I believe your story. Well, you're fucking in the goddamn secret area that I'm telling you about, so... Apparently nobody knows about this, but anyways... Um... Uh, what, what was I? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I went back to watch Inuyasha and Yu Hakusho, and oh my god, fucking... Inuyasha, it's like... I still love it, don't get me wrong. But oh my god, it's just, wow, some of the story beats that they have are kind of fucking stupid to the point where it becomes like Twilight before it was even fucking Twilight. And it's like, what? Fucking Shishomaru being, uh, Shishomaru being like, hey man, look at that kid. I want that kid. <laughs> and then fucking the little gremlin motherfucker is just like, Shishomaru, me lord, right? You know, but uh, Inuyasha, it's pretty good until it gets into, like, that weird stuff. Uh, and I mean, like, weirder than weird. And I'm, I'm talking about, like, like, I watched fucking Orimo. <laughs> fucking Orimo. Um, yeah, and then Yu Yu Hakusho, I went back and watched that, and oh my god, that show is so fucking old. Like, the visuals, I was like, what? I was like, I, I was like... I remember it being being more colorful than this, but that's not. But um, that's like the early episodes. There's like the later bits and stuff like that. Uh, I I talked to everybody that I could. Are is like Jasminka and uh, and Constance over here? Yeah. Okay. What do you guys say, Jasminka? Want one? It's nice and crispy. Sure, I guess. And then Constance has nothing to say. She's like, I didn't fucking break it. Constance's just like, don't fucking talk to me. Don't talk to me. There's something wrong with you. So then a day passes? Oh, it's nighttime and we're about to go to sleep. Okay, cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, but Yu Yu Hakusho, fucking going back and watching that, it was like... Like, that and Yu Yasha was back in the day where fucking people weren't afraid to... Where people were, like, weren't afraid to actually show some gory stuff in anime. And now if you go and try to watch, like, season one of Tokyo Ghoul, everything's just, like, fucking censored and shit. And it's like, are you fucking... Are you kidding me, man? Like, it's not that... It's not that bad. 
fucking censoring everything and shit. It's not that bad. Especially fucking if you go back and watch some shit like, uh, what was it, Elfin Lied? Where, like, where, like, uh, the fucking little girl has, like, these invisible tentacles and she's just, like, fucking slaughtering everybody. And then, like, there's this moment where these, uh, where these kids, like, these little boys are fucking, like, beating the shit out of a puppy. And then they're like, what the fuck? And then she just murders them all. And then, like, she murders her, like, little friend because she's like, you betrayed me. <laughs> it's fucking like, are you kidding me? I think that was Elfin Light. I'm pretty sure that's Elfin Light. Um, so we're gonna head back to the, uh, Hallelujah Chamber, I believe. No way, I can't believe you are actually right. It ain't that cool, Amanda? What's up? Oh, you didn't believe me? No one would believe something as crazy as that. Of course not. Fucking Constance just looks weird. Like, what happened to your nose, girl? Like, seriously, it's just, it's non-existent. It makes no sense to me. She's just, and she's like grilling me and shit. But, um, damn. Yeah, and then fucking, man, Yu Yu Hakusho, like, you see some pretty crazy shit a little bit. And there's that episode where they're doing, like, that tournament or whatever, or something like that, and, like, the dude strings Kurabara down to, like, the side, like, to even, like, smaller than an ant, and he picks him up and starts breaking his arms and shit, and just basically torturing him. I got a little fucking, I, I'm gonna be honest, I was like, oh my god, what's going on? That, that's not supposed to bend that way. And, I mean, like, he was utterly destroying that, man. It was like, what the fuck? Oh, man, you people are crazy. Um, yeah. And then, fucking other shit like Akira you go back and watch that you know it's all handmade and shit and Akira's pretty fucking violent people get murked like real bad it's fucking crazy man but that also kind of transitions into like the next thing I want to talk about is that there were some fucking American cartoons like heavily based on anime like I'm pretty sure the biggest one that comes to people's minds is like uh it's like fucking Teen Titans and Kolioko, even though Kolioko is like European, it's a European, quote unquote, European anime, you know, whatever. At this point, I don't even know what the fuck defines an anime anymore. I guess a certain style of art. Yeah, but, um, because at this point, it doesn't even have to be made in Japan to be anime. Unless you're like one of those fucking snobs that are like, that are like, hey, it's not made in Japan, what the fuck, right? Like, hell, I even look at uh, Avatar, and I don't think that's made in Japan at all. Like, I think that's a mixture between, like, I believe it's a mixture between people who make it, like, with, like, here in the U.S., and then I think there are some people in Japan that work in it, on it, and I think there there's a little people, a little amount of people in Korea, maybe, who work on it? I can't remember. Um, was, was people in, like, South Korea that worked on it? Or was that just like Korra? It was either like Last Airbender or Korra. I don't know. I might just be talking dumb shit. But yeah, even those are like, like, really anime inspired. Well, I guess Last Airbender is kind of like just straight up. I don't know. Is that anime? I'm like going around in circles now. I can't really remember. Um, yeah. There's that, and there's other things that just weren't made in Japan at all, but heavily inspired. Like, just look at Batman Beyond. Look at that fucking cartoon over again. Like, literally that cartoon is that, like, a team sat down and watched Akira, and they say, let's make, let's make, let's put Batman in Akira. And then that's literally what they fucking did. Like, that whole entire setting is just blatantly ripped out of Akira. It's fucking crazy. It's really cool, too, and I love that Batman Beyond is probably, Batman Beyond is, like, one of my favorite Batmans. Like... I just love, like, the New Age approach to it, and then fucking, I don't remember, was Batman Beyond, like, I think for a certain point in time, people just really hated it because it was, like, really different, but now when I talk to people about it, they're just like, oh yeah, Batman Beyond, I loved it, it was great, it was my favorite Batman, right? And then after that, they talk about the killing joke for the millionth time, because hashtag bat sex. <laughs> fucking, it was just sex, Bruce, no big deal. And then I got shot in the side. 
do you feel bad for me now for being such a bitch in the earlier half of the goddamn movie? No. Man, they just... That early part in that movie, they really fucked it up. Everything else was pretty alright. I think there was a moment where, like, there was a... They were having, like, a panel, the, the people... Like, the story writer or, like, the director of it. And I think somebody asked, like, what was the point of the sex scene? And I think... I think, like, the writer or whoever it was at the panel got, like, mad and furious. It was fucking crazy. I remember hearing about it somewhere. But, um... Man. Uh... Oh man, fucking, and let's just talk about, let's just talk about motherfucking an anime back in the day. Lesser key of, of Canopus? Can, Canopus? What? Canopus. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. A small magical key to the ruins, inhibited by monsters, well suited to weaker party members. Oh wow, was that like a diss to me or something? What the hell? Did Diana just give that to me and be like, these are for weaker people? Get the fuck out of my face, you lame-o. Alright, so I guess we're gonna head into the dungeons again. Just a moment. What do you want? What do you want for my life? Don't tell me you're gonna say to stay back because it's too dangerous or something. Don't tell me you love me, Diana. Please, I'll ship it. Part of the magic sigil is broken. Okay. There, all better. What'd you do? Yeah, what did you do, actually? I fixed the magic sigil. Now up to three people should be able to teleport at once. What do you mean up to fucking three people? Didn't three of us go in at the first time? You might never make it back. Okay. Alright. Duly noted. She's like, I wanna try that if I were you. You might just like get split in half or something. It's pretty gruesome. Okay. Man, uh, I believe Diana in this game probably has the lowest health out of everybody. Because I guess she's like a pretty girl, but she has the highest magic. Something like that. I don't know. Um, shit. But, back in, uh, 1998, there, there was a, there was a, a new wave. A fucking, uh, sensation that was gonna sweep the nation. A new wave of anime. Brought on by the mixture of sp space exploration and cowboys. And, and the cow people. You know what I mean? And that was a beautiful anime, which today, not today, um, which this year is its, uh, party roster, okay, which this year is its anniversary, 20th anniversary, uh, the party roster lets you choose which characters take part in battle, uh, which you control, up to two supporting characters, they'll act on their own accord, each character has their own leadership traits, so make sure you take those in consideration when you make your choice, cool. Well, we're gonna be using Akko, like, the whole time anyways, because it's her game, dude. Uh, I'm gonna switch out Latte for, let me see, Defense 14, 18, man, Jasmine, cause like a fucking tank, ain't she? Uh, oh, Susie actually has the lowest health. But her magic's pretty high, I guess. Amanda's magic is fucked, too. Damn. Ah, fuck it. Join me, Amanda. What's up? Gonna have Amanda... Don't want Constance here? Probably, maybe. Um, shit. Yeah, sure, why not? Put Diana there. Let's go. Alright, toughest nails, regain 50 HP once per battle, when HP falls to zero, and then adventurous support characters earn double experience points. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Okay. Diana's pretty good with magic, so we'll we'll have her here. Let's back off. So, uh, yeah. 1998. 20 years ago. Fucking... A little anime. A very, very little anime. Open the door. That's what we do? Okay. A little anime known as Cowboy Bebop hits the fucking scenes with its awesome-ass 
awesome ass fucking jazz intro. Fucking trumpets are going crazy. Saxophones are hitting the wall. Fucking drums are being played and everyone likes it. Are you okay, Amanda? Are you just like way faster than me and that's why you're like stopping? Huh, that's pretty weird. Okay. She's pretty fucking fast, I guess. Well, that makes sense. Since she's like the most physically fit out of everybody here. Get this motherfucker. Oop. I am not on the same... What was it? The same Y axis as that motherfucker? He was just like not getting hit by my, by my attacks. All right, press X to open treasure chests. Some levels contain hidden treasures. Yeah. So, what's this? Oh boy, I got some treasure. Some beautiful treasure. What's this? I got a cheap bangle. I got two of those. And then, am I picking up like hot dogs and shit for like health? I guess. Imagine Diana eating a hot dog, just like, just all, she like pulls out her knife and fork. How do I fucking use my spell? Turn around. There we go. Man, some of the inputs are a little bit delayed. A little bit, at least when it comes to the magic, right? I don't even have enough magic to do that. What's my heal spell if I do this? Oh, my ga- uh, I was about to say my gadget. Wow, what the hell is wrong with me? My magic, uh, regains itself over time. So let, let me get a hang- Hand of my magic. Okay, that's my fireball. Oh, my magic also has a cooldown to it. I don't have enough magic for that. So, Akko, we're gonna have to level up your magic like a motherfucker. I don't know what the square one is for. How much magic do I need to even cast that spell? 20? Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'll get the hang of that a little bit. But like I said earlier, we're probably gonna go back to my to my own save file that I had like months ago, where I I didn't get that far in the story or anything like that. I just sat there and just kind of leveled up the characters because I just really wanted to play the game. Even though it's a simple beat 'em up. Oh, that was the boss. The motherfucker got knocked out. All right. Got some leather bracelets, simple charms, and angles. Cool. Yeah, but fucking Cowboy Bebop hits the scenes with its, like, noir slash western style of storytelling. And it's just so, it's so beautiful. The soundtrack is so nice. Is there, if there's any problem that I have with that anime is that there are some times when you're watching it, the audio, and I, the, it's, it's understandable. It was, it was like 1998, guys. Like, go back to that time. Fucking, some of the audio... Like, the levels on the audio is, uh, like, scales, depending on whatever fucking episode you're watching. Sometimes the music's louder than what they're saying, or... I think, I think most of the time, like, you can barely hear them speak. Not barely, but, like, but, like, you know, the music, at some points in the anime, more often than I can count, just drowns out the sound of what they're saying. But then, you, uh, you know, audio's a hard thing to deal with. And you know you can you can get over it. It's not as bad. It's just that there are some times where like where Spike would be talking, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what was that? I can't hear you over the guy in the corner playing the fucking saxophone. And then he hangs out with Faye. Was that a saxophone he was playing? Yeah, I think that was a saxophone he was playing. And he hangs out with Faye. <laughs> and then they and he takes a shower, and that weird shit happens. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil a 20 year old anime. Um, but yeah, fucking, it's just such a good anime to watch, get into, it's really good. And if you haven't watched Cowboy Bebop at all, like, or if you're someone who's like, eh, it's an old anime, why would I watch that? Explore the ruins again? Okay, I guess. It's 10 o'clock right now. Cool, we can explore the ruins again, why not? Fuck it. Head back in there. Uh, chest key. Key chest, my bad. Key chest? Yeah, key chest. Alright. I hope I'm doing this right. 
So I guess we got to keep exploring and try and find the other keys. Hmm. That's a new quest. Alright. Maybe we'll find some magical items and stuff. Okay, cool. Let's get to work. Ow. Man, here's the problem with beat-em-ups. Sometimes so much shit is on the screen, it's hard to kind of lose track of yourself. I mean, it's hard to kind of lose track of yourself. It's easy to lose track of yourself. I wouldn't stand there if I were you. Ow, I got hit. Wow, I, I got hit at that. I got hit by the goddamn... I got hit by the goddamn, uh... Whatever the fuck it's called, Crusher, I guess. I don't know, Thwomp. It's a Thwomp from Mario. I got hit by the damn thing while, while it was going up. I thought I wouldn't get hit at that moment. Yeah, you guys gotta watch out. All this, like, stage hazards and shit, like it's goddamn Super Smash Brothers. And then the melee community comes and yells and says, mm, I'm not as good as melee. It's not as good as melee. I don't like this game. I'm gonna go back. Alright, Akko, you have a problem because you keep dodging when I don't want you to. And I don't even, like, move the stick for you to dodge. It's just whenever I'm trying to use my magic. Alright, so light attacks suck. Like, they don't get stunned when I do that. Go up the goddamn stairs. What are you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just kind of stopped talking because I was actually... I realized that I was playing a video game. <laughs> but, um... Man, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, it's so good. It's like... It's the perfect level of hijinks and drama. Each episode has its own... Its own matters. Is wow, really? I wasn't even hitting the dude. They have their own matters that... uh, Own matters. Is, is that the right word to use there? I guess they have different situations for each episode. It's pretty good. Unless one episode is a direct continuation of the other. Which is very few in between. It, do it doesn't like try and leave you hanging most of the time or anything like that. Is there a way to look at the map that I have? Return? No. I don't want to fucking return to the, to the chamber. Dash, quick stuff. I don't think I can look at the map. I Well, I don't think I can like make the map larger. So... We're gonna have to like run around a bit. Uh, head down one more. Probably go up here. Oops. Oh, what the hell? I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Come on, Boulder. Are you trying to attack the Boulder, Amanda? What the? F oh, Jack. Are you guys like a trying to attack the Boulder? What the hell is wrong with you people? All right. Cool, we're here now. Ow! Motherfucker got the drop on me. Take that fireball, bitch. Have I been slowed down? Oh my god, somebody cast like slow on me or some shit. Alright, there we go. I'm back to normal speed. I just gotta get that guy over there. Did I just use the heal spell? Yep, I did, didn't I? I meant to use the other one. Help me, fucking Amanda and Diana. What the hell are you guys doing? I'm bad at this game. Don't worry, I'll get the hang of it. Alright, let me hit this motherfucker right here. Alright, chill out, Amanda. Don't get yourself killed now. What the hell? I got hit by the damn thing. What the hell is the hitbox on that? That's pretty weird. Alright, never mind. I thought you were fighting somebody over there. Alright, fuck it. I don't care if I get hit. Get hit just by fucking touching it. This is what I mean about beat em ups. Sometimes your enemy gets stuck in the corner and there's nothing you can do about it. Alright, uh, there's. I can't even go that way. Where can I go? I gotta go. I gotta go to the left and then I gotta go. I gotta go all the way to the left and then go up in the middle path. That'll probably take me somewhere. Somewhere important. Importante. 
Come on. Let me get the fucking controller away from the microphone because I don't want that shit making a bunch of noise. Clicking these buttons pretty hard. I'm not even clicking the buttons hard. It's the goddamn uh, directional directional stick. What the hell am I saying? Analog stick. Oops. The fucking... Like, the area to enter... Man, that's like a bunch of room on the screen, but if I go a little bit to the goddamn left, it just takes me all the way to the other side. Uh, let me get out the way before that fucking, like, boulder comes down again. Man, Amanda, you're gonna fucking get yourself killed doing all that crazy shit. Watch out, Diana. Alright, that's what you get. What you get for not watching your back, girl. Is there a way to, like, tell my AI to chill the fuck out and not push him all the way to the side of the other goddamn screen? Oops. Alright, Akko, we have a problem. We gotta get your magic up, because I be thinking that I can use spells and shit, but then I just go out with this wimpy-ass fucking heavy attack that doesn't do shit. Uh, my bad, it's not heavy attack, it's the normal attack. That's the normal attack? What? And it doesn't even, like, combo? What the fuck? Hold up. What the hell did I just get hit by? Alright, it does knockback, I guess. Alright, you gotta be really close to do that shit. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll just stick with spamming the goddamn heavy attack. Even though I miss it half the time. Get that motherfucker. Do I hold it to make it? Wow, that's just its range right there. I can't even make it longer or anything like that. Just kill the motherfucker. God damn. You know what? Hey guys, let's just hang back over here to the left side. Where you guys won't fucking push him all the way to the other goddamn room. And he's getting knocked back by the fucking chains anyways. Alright, listen. If you're making a fucking beat -em up game. Like, I'm not too pissed off at this. But if you're making a goddamn beat -em up Make it so that the enemies don't go to a fucking area that you can't hit them in. Because then you get this shit. There we go, he's dead now. Ooh, he dropped the fucking... There we go. Apprentice rod. Oh, we gotta go that way. Okay, cool. Fucking Amanda and Diana got stuck on... Stuck? Wow, they got stuck on the steps. Is there enemies here? No? No enemies? Okay, cool. Watch out. Damn it. I got fucking hit by something I like to call bullshit. Don't let him fucking get pushed all the way to the side. Push him back, people. Alright, I gotta get used to this fucking Y axis shit. Man, I kinda I kinda stopped talking about my subject when I actually start started playing the fucking game. Mainly because I just I just wanna play the game and have fun. Beat em ups are cool, man. So I assume this guy's all the way back here. Yeah, he's gonna die right now. There you go, he's dead. Alright, cool. Head up here. Where the boss is at. Where we'll probably get our asses kicked. What the hell is this? It's a floating magical castle with teeth. It's the white castles. You gotta defeat it. Oh, I guess that's its weak point right there. Man, you're doing a shit ton of damage to you guys. Holy shit. Alright, see, I'm trying to use my fucking spell and she's not even doing it. What the hell? There we go. My spell came out. Finally. Listen, get up, man. Get up. I can't hit your weak point when you're laying down like that. There we go. He's gonna slam. He's gonna slam down. Man, they're so fucking mean. What are these damn things? Garbage bags? Oh man, you got any uh, garbage bags?
jump, girl. I can't jump because the goddamn thing is in the way. There we go. I killed the castle. How many times you can say that in your fucking life? Alright, well, back to my anime talk that I completely didn't go nowhere with. Fucking, yeah. Basically, at the end of the day, Cowboy Bebop, great anime. Fucking, it's awesome. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's great. It's beautiful. It makes you, it makes you cry, and the soundtrack is so good, because one of my favorite, like, my favorite genre of music is jazz, and oh my fucking god. You want to listen to some goddamn jazz? Fucking, want to listen to, like, jazz? You want to, you want to flow like water? Fucking watch goddamn Cowboy I did it, master. You saw me? I float like water. I moved like water. Horoscope constellations have been unlocked. You have Ursa Minor, um, Micro, Microsoft, Phoenix, Crooks, 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 hmm, and Hydrus. Hy Hydrus? Hydrus? Hmm. How do you pronounce that? Man, no leads, dude. We ain't got no leads. I love how you forgot to leave out the part where we almost got killed, Latte. She's like, well, we teleported to a new place, and I was like, yeah, we almost got fucking killed for it. And Latte just goes like, yeah, but we almost get killed every day because of you, Akko, so what else is new? Remember that time where me and my family got fucked over by some mushrooms or whatever? I don't fucking remember. Uh, what should I look for? Uh, what will you study to help restore time? <laughs> uh, I'll do it later. I mean, in the same day you live it over and over, you can basically do anything you fucking want. Groundhog's Day. Man, Groundhog's Day is kind of sad, <laughs> actually. Well, what is it like? He, what, what is the theory? Fucking, the dude lives through the same amount of time for the equivalent of like a hundred years, and he tries to kill himself every time. Uh, let's see. Sealed doors, magic keys. Hologium chamber. Uh, what will you study to help restore time? Well, I guess the Hologium chamber, right? I'm sure Hologium chamber is the key to everything. Cool. I'm a chef, chef too.